That's a lot of cars. <laughs> oh, it's a Supra. Holy, holy f GTRs. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yellow. That's a big money car. That dude's <laughs> is huge. from the LZ compound to share a quick word from the sponsor of this video, ShipStation. Right now is the calm before the holiday storm and now is the time to prepare. If you have an e-commerce business, it doesn't matter if you're shipping from your house or shipping from a big warehouse, you're gonna save time automating your shipping and returns with ShipStation's awesome dashboard and you're gonna keep costs down with industry leading carrier discounts that are gonna save you and your customers money while all those holiday orders roll in. Personally, I've grown my brand LZMFG from sending t-shirts out using my mom's dining room table all the way to where we're at now at the compound with over 10 employees, sending out packages of all different sizes, and ShipStation has been with me all along the way, keeping things simple, keeping our customers happy, and saving us money. Now it's your turn to set your business up for holiday season success with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com forward slash AdamLZ today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com forward slash AdamLZ, and I want to give a massive thank you to them for sponsoring not only this video, but many, many others and continuing to be an integral partner of the channel. Back to the video. So Agus, AKA Skevis Racing, he actually took apart the head this morning after the dyno session, just because there's a little lifter noise that he didn't like. She's good to go now, she's ready to rip. It should be making a lot more steam with how off the timing was and how all over the place the boost table was. It should feel like a completely different car. The boys took for some test laps yesterday, which it looks like it's ripping, it's screaming. And I'm stoked to go out there. I can actually add some more grip to the car now, which will give me a little bit more confidence in it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just stoked. I wonder if you guys are gonna hear the difference. Listen, and let me know in the comments below. Spinning and it got overspun. We got to turn the boost down because of that intercooler restriction. It probably overspun it to the moon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got to turn the boost down. Yeah. Well, uh, if you remember on the dyno, I mentioned how because of the fact that now we're running the wastegate line reference on the other side of the intercooler, the turbo's working harder to make the boost that we want. Therefore, I'm pretty sure we just overspun it. Um, so I've got to turn the boost down a bit. Uh, these turbos will keep making power to the moon, but unfortunately, if you overspin the wheel, they get pissed off, and I definitely overspun the hell, hell out of it. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Yeah. All right. Hey, look, I've, I've done it before. I've lost a wastegate line, sent it to the moon, and cooked one, but the good news is they're easy to change, and we got one right here.
All right, so while my car is getting fixed, Jason told me to take out the U. So this thing is actually pretty spicy, even though on the outside it looks like a pickup truck. It's actually got an RB20 NA Neo with the turbo. So what's cool about these, the NA motors are a little bit higher compression. Neo likes to rev. So this thing apparently revs to 8,500 RPM, makes like 450 horsepower, and it's got a big box RB25 transmission. So it's got the recipe to be a fun car. I've never, oh, I guess I think I drove one U, but it was like a crazy sequential thing. Um, it should be pretty good though. So hopefully uh, the guys will get my car back together soon so I can qualify in it. But I'm excited to experience the good old U, especially with a screaming RB20. Tell me what this is. This is, our, uh, you do it for this is the nicest gift anyone has ever given to me. A billet. 13B front plate, or 20B, or four rotor, six rotor, whatever, whatever you want. We've engraved your uh, logo on there for you. Look at the face of jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold on to it for him. Nope. Wait, look at the case. Look at the case that it came in. Oh my god. He opened gosh. it up. I was like, I don't know what this is, but if it's in that nice of a case, this is gonna be beautiful. That is the coolest thing ever. You better protect it. I want to just put it on that shelf. Well, you can. Yeah. Decoration. <laughs> It'll make more power in your car, though. This is beautiful. <laughs> I can't, like, they have to cut down a giant aluminum tree to make this. Yeah, I did it all. So I programmed the machine, I designed it, I machined it. I'll, I'll help them take good care of it. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. So what's the, what's the advantage of this over a stock plate? The, the advantage is that it's got a uh, consumable wear surface that if you have a big blow up or an accident, it's replaceable without having to replace the entire component. The billet lasts forever and the cast iron uh, insert is a uh, replaceable wear surface. So it's, it would be like the equivalent of sleeving a traditional engine? Yes, but it's also a billet block. Sorry, so like having a billet block with sleeves so you could just change the sleeves instead of having to change the whole block? Yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah, exactly. look at that, because this is where you might get damaged if any like seals blow out and get in there and stuff it up but look it'll just take that out you said you can disconnect yeah, it so from the middle there's a special tool which i didn't bring along today because it was heavy but you can undo that and then the uh that whole surface comes out and it's replaceable fully cnc ported as good as you can get so what it is, is perfect. This, like a big street so that's that's a big, big extend yeah. big extend board yeah I'm excited. I'm gonna get in it. I'm gonna go drive. Hopefully do great. This will be probably my first time with it making a lot more power and ready to f So I'm gonna go f
what's back oh, what on the line. What happened here? So Adam LZ was out of competition in practice with some mechanical issues. Looks like they have got that car back together. Mad Mike scores a 93. A 93 from Mad Mike. Yeah, Mad Mike. How Put many down. 90s have we got on the board? This is the highest qualifying session we've had. Oh, sorry, a 91 for Mad Mike. 91. Which is crazy. Right? Halfway this through is qualifying. the first thing. We, have we got Adam LZ on the line. This is a newly rebuilt SR20 Forge motor in this S13. And a new turbo that they just basically swapped in while we've been waiting. He hasn't done a huge amount of laps here, LZ, so he's going to have to learn fast in this one lap. But so far, so good. A man that knows this car, knows this chassis, and uh, he's doing a pretty good job so far. Adam LZ as he fires through the course. This is aggressive. How aggressive is he going to be to that wall, though, as he fires up on the lock of the front brakes? Nice early entry to the wall and runs that spoiler all the nice way along that concrete yeah. wall. And you know what? For a guy that had absolutely no practice whatsoever today, that is an impressive run. And not only that, he didn't get any sleep. They were at the dyno until 1.30 in the morning last night. Yeah, so on the dyno, then they get it here. They have a mechanical issue with the turbo. They swap another turbo in. He gets no practice, and he comes out and does that. that. Well, you know what? It goes to show that he is uh, every bit as good as any driver driver on any course on any day and it is oh hold on we got a big score coming in it is a 94.3 for Adam LZ 94.3 with absolutely zero practice today that is impressive stuff all right so to make it through qualifying we did something that we probably shouldn't have we didn't have time to weld another elbow to the housing so we used an old housing from the turbo blew up it probably still has some debris in it even though we cleaned it and unfortunately some of the debris got into the compressor wheel so to play it safe and not risk sucking any debris into the engine i'm gonna drive the mighty au for my second lap that we can get a fresh center on for tomorrow not hurt the motor um, but yeah that's the backstory if you saw what happened in the stream that's what happened almighty au yeah. falcon Hell u yeah. did you drive good yeah i got uh, almost a 91 90.67 cool. so Hell yeah. I was like, why is your <laughs> hand in my face, weirdo? In that scoreboard, he now is the last driver to go, and he's currently in seventh position, which means he's automatically through to tomorrow, regardless of what happens. Okay, okay. So if you had a little bit of free time and you didn't need, in many ways, to do it, what would you do if you were in Australia? Well, you take an Orbi 20 Ute and say, imagine I could outdo my score in the S13 in a car that I've never driven before. That looks like two sheep have just got out of it 20 minutes ago is what we're looking at here beer cans have not been removed from the bed no that's part of the style it's part of the character you can see the beer cans <laughs> moving around the bed here that is for weight distribution dan they tell me look at that entry in a ute oh yes. my goodness the rb20 is being put to the test as adam flicks that big car through into the power alley, making smoke, making noise. I'm sure he's having an absolute blast. This now. could be as good a run as he did in the S13. He's on the inside of the track a little bit here. Give it up for Adam LZ, but welcoming himself to Australia oh by goodness. driving a U, an AU Falcon I with think an Orbi kind of had to. This is just Come feels on. right. Because Adam LZ said, this is all about entertainment. This is all about you guys, the fans at home, the fans here in attendance. This is all about entertainment, folks. And are you not entertained? entertained? If you just tuned in right now, if you just arrived in the game right now, this would be so difficult to explain. But it's, I'm glad you guys are with us through the whole thing because it, it's, it's, it's only getting started, folks. We're here for two days. We said we weren't leaving here until we saw and did things that shouldn't exist in the world of drifting and, and car events. Live. And look at this. People hanging over the fence while they watch Adam LZ drive a car that, to me, looks like it carries the animals around most of the time, I would imagine. Incredible. Yeah, I was driving like an absolute jerk. I was trying to get my angle score up. So on the straight, I was like at lock before the wall, so I just didn't have the momentum to get to where I needed to on the wall because I was just like crab walking and then I kind of messed up there, but I still had fun. I was just doing the limmy finger the whole way down the street. I'm surprised you didn't get more style points for that and it being a U. I mean, I didn't look at the score. Maybe it was pretty good, but the wall area was not so good. It was probably like a 70s. What'd yeah. you get? What'd you do? I have no idea. I don't, I can't hear anything. Let's check here. the chat.
I'm joining you guys from Florida to remind you that the R34 GTT giveaway is live and we have made huge progress on the car. You're gonna to need to check out the Drift HQ channel. The entire engine bay is redone at this point. Ganadors are about to go on. And a reminder that every $5 you spend on Drift HQ or lzmfg.com is gonna give you enter for a chance to win this car, $15,000 cash. Link in the description, check it out. We're going to watch the top 16 in the back of a Ute. This is my disguise, I got a media vest. I got Jason's I'm full outfit. Up. He's got my hat and my glasses. I've been carrying around this uh, this cone and this sign. You know, I just want to watch, watch and yell for my friends. The boys. Good guy. So we're looking for Adam again. I know, where could he be? Last time it was on a hill, a quarter mile away from the track. <laughs> His little tiny little blob in the bushes. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah. We well, looking for cell phone reception before. Do you want me to hold that? This is, a, this is like a where's Waldo. Yeah. Yeah. Where is yeah. Let's see if we can find him. Like I'm just out to some fun and see what happens and put on a show for all these. Don't blow my cover. All right, maybe I'll get in. Blow my cover. Adam? Now that Glad's here, I might as well put my clothes back on. Is that you? We've been looking everywhere for you. Where have you been? Good job, man. It's going to be an interesting one for you. shifter out the window. Yes, I did. I was like, it was hey, my shifter is not Grant, shifting Grant, things Grant. anymore. Congrats, Grant, but where are you going with Congrats, but your shifter isn't where it's supposed to be. Yeah! 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 Keep it It's fucking There are some really good cars. Yeah. I walked through before. No one knows that, and everyone's just like, what the f f <laughs> My favorite's when Jason does a baby voice. Baby voice? Yeah. Baby voice. Baby voice. Baby voice. Hey, Grant, Please no. tell you mean the no. nonna voice. No, no. no. that's not a baby voice, oh, it's that's a, a nonna, nonna voice? Yeah. What do you say? I claim. Asta. You are? No, no, no. no. Asta. I know high five. No. Uh, more power no. now. Go figure, Adam. Why don't you blow yeah. that thing up again, too? Yeah. Fucking Randy. If we just do bigger a bigger turbo, engine, we won't overspool the turbo. <laughs> <laughs> the turbo. You know he's replacing the Octon. Yeah. Oh, the that's why it broke. <laughs> he only had the pros, didn't have the premiums. Oh, what is happening? Oh my god, what is that noise? At least you made it in. Oh, we're gonna scrape right here. Are we? Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 Wow. We lied. All right, it's competition day two. I guess got into some crazy last night. Yeah, we did. Uh, we uh, we found some metal in the in the engine, so we uh, ripped the motor. And we built a whole new motor in the, what nine hours. Got it all tuned. So put it in the machine shop. And it's a full brand new motor. It's looking good. Sounds good. 
got 350 kilowatts and uh, it's gonna be really good. I think he's like slightly downplaying. I'm seeing videos uploaded to Instagram at like 3 a.m. of you uh, decking the cylinder head, all the machinery. Like, I feel like usually people be slapping some together in a garage and it's probably what what like is normal at a race event, but the fact that you have the machine shop so close by, like, yeah. killer. Yeah, it's good. Uh, we're only about 10 minutes down the road, so, yeah, and I'm the only guy there that can do the stuff, so I was I was uh, measuring the crank and doing the clearances, and I had the machine running on the head, and did a full valve job, um, shimmed up all the, all the, all the rockers, uh, it was just an epic, epic night. Uh, I thought we'd, we were gonna be ready by about 2 a.m. Uh, 2 a.m. came and gone, 4 a.m. come and gone, the trailer about five and uh, sorry about 4 30 we got to the tune shop so i rang my tuner he was still awake waiting for me and we're on the rollers at about 5 a.m and we're here now so it's all good and i think we were hoping that at worst case scenario was just some metal on the head but it was the entire bottom end you had to rebuild from scratch yeah from scratch which wasn't fun uh not in that not in that hour and we've got to give a big shout out to my tuner dr drift sam he stayed up all night i did tell him i'll be there about one two o'clock and uh he was on, on the rollers he was solid uh, we got it out a few little things and the car is really really good today so all the best yeah a bit of a bummer but we, we did it um, i'm happy to do it i live and breathe it it's good uh, the weather holds up it should be really really good the only difference is obviously now it's a G25 660 versus a 550 because we couldn't get another. Sam basically explained it cools 500 RPM later, which is not bad at all. And it looks like it holds power much better. So I have a feeling it's going to be happier and actually better for traction on the tire. So I'm excited to see how it feels. And I appreciate the out of you, dude. I don't know a lot of people that would have made that happen. <laughs> like, no worries, man. It's, a, it's a great catch. We we heard the noise and we didn't know what it was and it turned out it was worst case scenario and we caught it just in time. Yeah, we did. And uh, we got the top off. We ran, we ran out of clothes, so we're still in our same clothes as yesterday, so uh, we're gonna get through the day. It's gonna be a really good day. Um, really, I'm, I'm happy with the car. The car looks amazing. It's a great event. And uh, all, all the best, bro. I took a look at the car, a tie rod end just failed. Um, really glad it happened there and didn't happen on the wall because it probably would have totaled the car. So, not the best way to start the day, but I guess better to happen now than in competition.
my last run, the idle went a little bit high, and I probably should have brought it back in, but I went out anyway, and it started to misfire. I don't know if you can see the plug. This car is being a pain in my ass. The bolt for the throttle plate backed out, sucked itself through the motor, and it looks like the only casualty is the plug. But like, man, <laughs> this car in the past 24 hours has been through some. Agus is going to be pissed when he finds out about this. Yeah. He literally just built a brand new motor and just took, took a screw through it. I swear to God, and like this isn't this isn't SR problems either, by the way. This is just like the things around the SR. I know people love to point a finger at the SR. They're f***ing amazing. You just built a brand new motor last night and it just sucked the from the throttle body. That was the most classic move ever. I suck. Lock tight your throttle body screws, boys. It's like it happens to everyone and no one ever thinks about it. Watching him swing this thing's been very cool. Lots of style. What's this car based on? Like, what's the chassis? Yeah. Uh, full custom, but it's basically S15 wheelbase. Oh, really? Yeah. No way. We finally set it up this weekend. It's always been narrow in the front and narrow in the rear, uh, the rear so we've bought the rear now, oh, wow. which is the best it's felt. You know, I've seen you swinging it. Like, you're not just like drifting, you're like throwing it. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, yeah. it looks. Yeah, you gotta go hard. Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, give me cliff notes on the engine setup, real quick. Uh, LS3 D stroke. Um, it's 670, no, 67 cube. Um, revs to 8, makes 8, uh, sorry, 587. Sick. Perfect. Uh, 1100 kilos. I don't know where to start, but there's a lot on it. <laughs> well, I'm stoked to go for a ride. Let's do it. Let's do it. Look at the view in this thing. <laughs> yeah. It's not too bad when it's like this. It's when you're chasing someone in the smoke. I can see that. It makes it tricky, but. When I drive the Mustangs, I can't see over the dash, so I'm kind of used to it. Yeah, yeah. You just kind of learn where the car is. Yeah, it's sort of good not being able to see the bonnet because then you don't be wary of it. Yeah. <laughs> The cockpit in this thing. I'm looking at your pedal box. Yeah, this is the tightest bit. You have to wear, wear race boots. That's, that's cool. It feels like this car's got a lot of drive. Yeah, it's got a lot of drive, and we're, we're still at uh, 17 PSI on the rear. I didn't look. Is it IRS or is it a straight axle? It's just standard GTR stuff. Oh, it's all yeah. GTR stuff. Yeah. yeah, so I've got a Winters in my S15, my comp car. Uh -huh. We're going to put that in here eventually. We're just running out of time for this event. So. This thing's so cool. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, thank you for giving me a ride. Awesome. Cool. Legend. Yeah, this thing's sweet. For my first fantasy battle, I'm going up against Cam Martin, aka they call him the Aussie LZ because of his mustache. I, I guess we kind of look a little similar. I'll put a, a photo on the screen. He's a killer driver. I got to drive him in the mountain Gambia a bit, and he's been absolutely crushing it lately. So it's going to be a good battle. I've gotten like maybe like four solid drag slaps in this car in the past 48 hours. So I'm going to need to work for this one. We've 
been to four stops all over the world on this tour. We've had some amazing audiences, but Australia, you are representing your nation today. You've got to be the loudest yet. And what we've got on the line for our first fantasy battle is basically Adam LZ versus the Australian Adam LZ. Yeah, they call him the wish.com. Adam LZ. So everybody confuses him with Adam LZ. He is a big fan of Adam LZ. But Carl Martin, we're going to put you in a battle with Adam LZ for the first fantasy battle. It is LZ in the Cream S13. Got up against Cam Morton. A dream battle for Cam Morton here. Yeah, now. this is uh, this is a come up for him. Nothing like looking like somebody and then getting to battle them in real life. Convenient that they're both drifters. Absolutely, and Cam Morton in that four-door or, or 33. And then we have Adam LZ, who's on a mission this weekend to try and get this car working. They've had so many mechanical issues with it, but it looks like it's working pretty good now as LZ Ooh. takes it to the wall. Look, look at Cam Morton up on the door. Fantasy battles for nothing, judged by the crowd, and these guys are door to door. Everybody pulling together to make their show the sh uh, sure the show is as good as it can be. And look at Cam Morton, he is in Dream Street. He, he thinks he's gonna wake up in bed this morning again and go, I had this weird dream. I was battling Adam LZ in the middle of Calder Park, but it's reality, Cam, and you are now in the lead position with LZ hot on your heels. Let's see exactly what they could do as Cam's chucking it in, AKA LZ Jr. at this point. And LZ getting right up in his business. He's like, you know what? Let's put on a show. And they are doing just that. LZ's got a lot of driving to go ahead of him, so the fact that he's even out here doing this is pretty fantastic. And these guys aren't leaving anything on the table. It's not like they're going easy on each other. A little bit of a bump on the wall there as Cam deep into that pocket hits the wall again. He hit the wall three times <laughs> all the way around. Cam Morton putting that ortho. I mean, the back of that car is pretty far away from you when you're driving, but still. Yeah, it's he hit a big the wall. Car. He hit the wall three times. All right, Cam, you were just checking out your lovely craft work that you did at the end of the wall there. You got a bit keen there, mate, but how good was it drifting with your brother from another mother? Oh, it was absolutely awesome. Uh, he was very consistent. I knew I could just lay it on him. Um, yeah, I oh, was stoked. <laughs> mate, you can't wipe the green off. Adam, long lost brother, what was it like there? And did you know you had a brother here? Yeah, we haven't driven together for four years, so it was cool to get to... Uh... No, it was good. It was a good time. <laughs> Make some noise if you think Cam Martin is your winner. Uh, Jeez, you guys were waiting a little bit there, but uh, Adam got you started. Make some noise if you think Adam LZ is your winner. All right, we're just going to have to quickly do that once again. Cam Martin, winner. Adam LZ, winner. Ah, uh, yeah, look. I, th I think Cam Martin's got that one. But hey, you're going to be back out for another fantasy battle later? Absolutely. Mad Mike. There we go, baby. Make some noise. What a great fantasy battle. Back to you guys. <laughs> If you look at the, I've been waiting. Yeah, the official merchandise for this event, the t-shirt, the hoodie, I saw it a couple of weeks ago. It was Mad Mike, it was Adam LZ, and I said, I'm not going to leave this to chance that these guys this won't will meet. will happen. Because they're on both opposite sides of the bracket. They would have to meet in the final today. So just in case that doesn't happen, let's just see it happen either way. So we got Adam LZ and Mad Mike doing a run in the fantasy battles, two of the biggest names in drifting. Where would you ever see it happen? And Calder Park, it's happening right in front of your eyes. And look at this. Adam taking that SR20 out of cream. S13 versus a three-loader MX5, aka Miata, blasting through the course. Adam has been on a heater when the car is working, and Mad Mike doing everything he can to stay up with him as they come across the line. Insane. That's what I love about this event, is you would never in your lifetime ever see these two guys in the two cars or styles of cars that made their name up against each other in Australia. Yeah.
thing. But it's going to be fun. Yes. We got the second half of this one. Adam LZ, Mad Mike, the world of drifting from all sides right now on the star line. Love to see it. Big names, big cars. Even though the, the Miata and his uh, SR20 are making basically the same amount of horsepower, we're going to see if Adam can actually put the pressure on Mike, chuck it in the back. He, he's like, you know what? That other guy's going to take a nice shot. Yeah. So Mad Mike does a backwards entry in the front score. Now LZ starting to try and get up in his business. Will LZ be able to make the dive towards the wall? Last chance saloon. Yes, he will. Big angle. Oh, there we go. On the door, hand oh, out the window. window. Wing on the wall. There were so many things happening oh. right there at the end. Calder Park. There Come you on. go. That All right, down here with Adam. Adam, a little bit hard to hear, mate, I'm sure. So I'm just going to yell in your ear. Forgive me for that. How was it driving with Mad Mike with this cool car in your own car in another country? Well, I can't hear anything anymore, but <laughs> no, that was sick. That entry was wild. That was fun chasing that down. And uh, Mike, mate, normally it's uh, serious biz, comps, Pikes Peak, that type of stuff. This event, you get to let it hang loose. Oh, dude, this is so good. I've been waiting for this all year. The event where, you know, you drive for the fans. You know, it's hard to thing with drifting. As a, you know, a lot of people say it's a judge sport. For me, it's a spectator sport. We come out here, entertain. I've got to thank Adam LZ, the entire crew out here for LZ World Tour. It's just really cool to be a part of it. Love coming to Australia. And, um, yeah, man, we're just getting started. There's fantasy battles. We've got top 16 this afternoon, so can't wait. The crowd, that deserves some noise. Yeah. The party's just getting started, people. Can we do it one more time? Do we Do we have that? I've got no radio capabilities, so I'm just going to um, get back in, in behind the fence, and I'm just going to let you guys decide. We're just checking the tyres. Mike said he peeled half of them off up there. You're good to go. Yep. We're doing one more time, everyone. Woo! So we're going back at it again. Adam LZ in the lead position. Mad Mike in the chase position. Neither guy with any tires left. Oh, this is going to be sketchy. Here we go. <laughs> at least it's not raining. We're going to give that some credit. Adam LZ trying to do his best impression of the Backy King. Let's see. And Mad Mike, even with no tires, is putting it in to Adam's business. That SR20 is singing. It's a brand new motor. And he is just, this is how you break into motor, everybody. There is no more appropriate way. The three rotor just holding on because whatever Mad Mike does with rotor is untouched territory. He's a magician. For most. He's a magician. It doesn't exist. The flame from the back of that car doesn't <laughs> the go. The Batmobile as it, it goes down. It doesn't. The flame doesn't go out until he gets back to the start line, <laughs> which is incredible. <laughs> totally seriously, because these guys have such a following and they promote it so positively to so many and in people. Completely different ways. Exactly. Like totally different ways of doing it, but that shows that there's so many ways to do it. Yes. And these guys have excelled in their particular field. And now we got to take a breath and hope both of them make it to the top 16. Because here we go again. Here we go. Mike in the lead. battle. That was a burnout from both guys all the way down the straightaway. Mad Mike throwing it back in. Adam matching his angle as they come back around into the power alley. Adam doing a good job of mimicking wherever Mike's car is going. And Mike's car is probably not going where he wants it to because it's out of tires. As they dip into the wall, it looks like Adam's having a little bit of an issue. Mad Mike rounding it around and banging into the wall himself. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, firstly, boys, thank you very much for that. Um, <laughs> I kind of weaseled that one more time out for the crowd, and uh, I understand that I might have uh, pushed my luck a little bit there. So thank you for that. Uh, was it worth it? Oh, it was worth it. Uh, it's a bummer. I, I think I popped a couple or something, so that's why I shut it down. But uh, that was a blast. I'm glad we got to do that again. Hey, you gave the fans what they wanted, and that's what they came here for. And Mr. Showman over here himself, a little bit of a scrape there, all good? Well, stick it to the wall. It's probably the wrong motto. It's an expensive one, but it's a good one because it entertains. But yeah, you, you never know what's happening behind with the rotary because they're so loud. But usually you can see, you know, the color of the door. I'm not sure what's happening behind me, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, unreal. You're going to have this thing good to go for the top 16? I'm sure we'll make something happen. Oh, yeah. otherwise there's that are you falcon in the waiting. The mighty AU. <laughs> B-E-A, beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, Mad Mike, Adam LZ, make some noise for these two absolute heavyweights of drifting. Back to you guys. Thanks, man. I think a draw is a fair that result. That was very fair. Yeah, th there's no rhyme or reason. And I'm sorry, guys, we took the power out of your hands. You've judged that there is no winner. <laughs> it is a draw, and they are going to go back and get ready for the main event, which is coming up very shortly. <laughs> That was a f blast. What an honor to have Mad Mike here.
here at our event. Uh, I can't say I ever thought, A, that I would be having my own events, B, let alone that I'd get to drive with him at one of them. His three-rotor MX-5 is so cool, and we had some really good battles. Uh, my chase, I thought I was going to back it in the wall. Uh, did not <laughs> did not think I was going to be able to pull back after it, but I did, and I was able to stick it to his door, so um, that was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, something happened. The motor's down one cylinder. Uh, don't know. Something must have gotten sucked in again. I've had so much good luck with SRs, and then there's just a weekend like this where some dumb Honestly, it's everything around the engine, usually. But it's a bummer, um, especially knowing that Agus stayed up building this thing through the middle of the night for me. And uh, I don't think there's coming back from this one. So big thank you to him, to Sam, to all the dudes that helped. Jared especially, he's literally gotten this car back together over and over again. I've been constantly breaking stuff all weekend. Things have been falling apart. That dude has been wrenching. And also a massive thank you to Nick who was helping Jared out. The entire Keeper Me team has been working so hard to keep this car together. Getting it built, getting it on track, and uh, these dudes have just fixed every single thing that's been thrown at them with a smile on their face. I'm immensely appreciative. Um, I'm stoked I was able to still put on a show for you guys with this thing. It sucks because I feel like the SR gets a bad rep, but it's not the SR. It's just yeah. the things around it that we kept having issues with. Um, but there's plenty of cars here, so I'll find something else. Put on the show, because that's what I'm here for, and have a good time. I don't know what the f is wrong with me or why I didn't think about it. I came back in the pit so defeated. I literally filmed that whole segment thinking that my motor was blown. And I was an idiot and didn't think about the number one SR20 Achilles heel. Hey, hey, look, look, look at your leg. What does it say? Yeah. It is literally a broken rocker I'm tattooed on me, and guess what? Oh, there's multiple. Or no, that's just one. Two. Oh. Two broken rocker arms. <laughs> uh, if you have too aggressive of a limiter on an SR, that'll happen. Honestly, I don't think I had this issue with the old turbo because it didn't make power up there. Now that the car is making power up top, it's actually banging off limiter instead of like hanging in the mid range. Um, so now discovered a new problem. I haven't had a, a rocker break ever since I had a BR rev limiter and I was driving my car across country, so very nostalgic, but not the ideal thing to happen, but the guy's already already done changing it. So. I filmed this whole big sad clip about how the motor was done and it lost compression. So this is good. Time to go. It's been a little roller coaster this weekend, huh? Yeah, it's if I had to explain what this weekend felt like, I would equate it to one of those construction things they have at the amusement parks that you sit on that has the tracks and goes up and down and around, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. SR20 go up against an SR20. Oh. We've got Adam LZ in his cream S13. So they Brent, got it going again. I thought uh, it was compression. He said, he said it. Yeah, they know they said that they got it going again. Who knows what's going on? Oh I think goodness. maybe Sheer Will has gotten that car back on track. Adam LZ <laughs> is in the S13. It is going to be Bucky McCarthy in the chase position. Marcus McCarthy, great driver. Two S13s in their correct chassis. As this they is go a down. 90s battle if I've ever seen one, and it's very Japanese style. Adam actually chucking it all the way out to the outside. Marcus having to reel that back east system in so we'll see what they can do as they blast through the power alley adam hanging that thing out again having issues it's hard to drive a car with confidence when you've been having issues so much adam into the wall a little bit saw his wing move up and down but stays in it makes it all the way through with a bump from marcus at the very end oh my Ooh, goodness this is getting personal out there <laughs>
how low that car is. By the way, again, tuck and rim. Tuck and rim. So many cars car. here, tuck and rim. Adam LZ got the blackout tints on the 180. Of course, you know, look at the back end oh, of that car. Got it's, a little smashed, yeah, in, on smashed the wall. in on the wall. But now LZ's got to be very aggressive here from the off. Yeah, as hopefully they nothing happened to that back wheel as he chucks it in. We're going to see. And here we go, backing McCarthy. Going a little easier than it. I think he just was like, you know what, I'm going to be a gentleman about this. I'm going to enter nice and clean. I'm going to put down a hell of a lead run so that Adam can put down a hell of a chase. And Adam is doing just that as they round into this last outer zone. McCarthy deep into that pocket. LZ following exactly where he needs to be. Hand out the window. These guys are stoked. Happy guys. Look at those Look at smiles. That. Marcus hasn't stopped smiling since yesterday morning. He's having a good time. But we're going to have to find a decision on this one. We're going to have to see who is going to go through to the top eight. <laughs> decision dropping in from the judges. Three, Three two, two, one. It's Marcus, Marcus McCarthy, McCarthy getting the, the win, win and goes through to our great eight. And you can see it, Adam, just running out of steam a little bit on that last, last corner, one. straightening up before the finish line. Mez is down with the man himself. It looked like he was struggling a little bit, Mez, but he got there in the end. Yeah, absolutely uh, fighting with a wounded soldier here, are you? Yeah, so the car ran great. We actually broke a rock arm when I thought it was a, a coupler before, so we changed the limiter settings to make it a little safer. And I, I think we went a little bit too crazy because it was just like cutting power completely. Um, but it still ran great. We had a good battle, so I'm stoked. And uh, when Marcus sort of gave you that love tap after the line, did you pick up the boxing gloves out of the glove box ready to go when you got to the start line or it was all kosher? Honestly, I have to say, one of the realest things he ever did on the line, I left in third, and he could have just rolled me down the whole straight, and he waited for me, and that was really cool, so thank you for that. Ah, uh, awesome, awesome. You love to see it. Unity in the community. All right, make some noise for Adam LZ, ladies and gentlemen. Not the way that I wanted the battle to end, but I am so thankful and so that I got to drive my car out there. Uh, unfortunately, we changed the limiter settings to be safer to avoid breaking rocker arms. And although it was great uh, under not a lot of load on the last corner, uh, in third gear, the car gets quite a bit of load and it did some weird thing where it like cut the throttle completely or like turned off fuel completely. Um, that's when I hit the wall and then I straightened out and then it did it again and that's when he hit me behind me. Um, but I gotta give a massive shout out to Marcus because I basically almost stalled my car. I went to leave in third gear and he waited for me. He saw that and instead of just blazing off and getting the win, um, he waited so we could have a good battle. And it was great, but again, last corner it did the weird limiter thing. So uh, honestly, if I could have done anything better, it just would have been to come over like a day or two earlier so I could have gotten some more time on the car, just sorting out a lot of these issues with less stress and just spending more time looking at things. But unfortunately, a lot of changes happened on this car and a lot of people busted their ass to make it happen. And just with anything, like these things happen, you know, it took me years to get my green S13 dialed, the green S15, I had lots of little woes until it gets to the point where it just lasts forever. So part of the game, but uh, I'm so appreciative of all the people that have been making this possible for me to drive this thing out here. And I got to drive it on track and uh, put on the show. Hold on right there, don't I? Oh! 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 Grant's taking over filming, I'm tired. Hey guys, we're talking about how the only thing to get Mike excited about when he's filming anymore is when he almost gets run over because he's so numb to everything he sees. Chemo boy. I have to fall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get run over by car to even feel anything. <laughs> little peep lyrics going in my head right now. How do you hold this thing like? Black and light. Wait, wait, no, we don't want that. I'm gonna Black write a sad boy emo song. I wish I got run over by a drift car. <laughs> And the winner of the Australian event of the LZ World Tour is...
motherfucker moment. Jimmy fronted it, no, backed it into the wall, and oh, it was a good time. We were touching butt to butt, yeah. nut to nut, butt to butt and car to car. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> that oh, yeah. was nuts. Jared, thank you again so much for making my car work all weekend, no even though I nonstop made it break and. Oh, it was uh, it was a busy weekend, but hey, it happens. You know that's true thing, isn't it? So. I appreciate you guys so much. All good, mate. All good. Any yeah. time, hey? Good yeah. Was you. that you out there driving with us? Yeah, yeah. I was out the Corolla. Dude, that thing looks so sick with the TRD livery on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. What up? Was that a V8? Uh, yeah, I was out in the V8 car then. So that's just the LS1 uh, stock motor with a cam and 8 to one extractors. Uh, 8 throttle body manifold. So. That's got to be nuts in a Corolla. Yeah, yeah. 310 kilowatts and it's like all drive in the thing. So it's all Hell yeah. <laughs> This is the uh, the car that Jared was talking about. What's your channel? Uh, Klingberg Motorsport. So. All right. And then, oh, hell yeah, this is a 4AG, right? Turbo? Look again. What? Oh, I didn't see the extra two cylinders. I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> 1.5 JZ, so. It's funny that like it kind of looks like yeah, it, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it's the just, valve covers. It's deceiving with the valve covers. Yeah, I'm not a true car guy, you could tell. Yeah. I don't know what the <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, mate, I'll give it to you. <laughs> These are not your average Corollas, huh? Yeah, not bad, hey? Not bad! <laughs> Good size. Look at that. You do all the fab too? Yeah, yeah, all the fab on them, so both cars, so all manifolds, everything, fab it up, so. Is that a true, is this equal length or just eight to uh, one? Yeah, this is equal length firing order, eight to one, so that's why they look a bit messy, because you get those really neat um, eight to one extractors and they're not normally equal length, so yeah, this one's all equal length and, you know, in firing order, so. Sounds sick. Yeah. Hell yeah. I've thanked everyone a million times, but I need to say it again. You know who you are. Everyone works for so hard to make this happen. Both the event and me driving this car, which is an absolutely incredible machine, but unfortunately this event just turned into more of a shakedown for it. The good news is, next time I come back down under, I've got a weapon. It's good, it sounds great, it feels great, and uh, I'm very happy to hear that all the drivers had an absolute blast, all the fans had an absolute blast. The biggest thing that we try to achieve with these events is to have something that satisfies the competitive need in a lot of these extremely talented drivers, but also be laid back and fun enough that everyone can just have a good time, relax, and uh, leave with smiles on their face, whether they won or lost their first battle. Um, and uh, yeah, it's really cool to hear how much everyone loved this event. And now, um, we don't need to get up early tomorrow, so we'll probably hang out and party. Where the vlog stops here. No fear. Concrete is near. <laughs> Tune in soon, baby. I <laughs> know uh, high five. No. Uh, more power oh, now. Go figure, I don't want to blow oh, that thing up again, too. Fucking Randy. If we just do a bigger engine, we won't overspool the turbo. <laughs> <laughs>